This is code.org. What do we have here? Getting started. Import your dessert subclass from the backpack. We already have, oh, 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 subclass. Okay, so dessert is the parent class, right? A subclass of dessert. So we made cookie and pie and all of those. And, oh, what's here? Oh, and if you don't have one, they give you a version of it right there that you could copy the code over. Cool. But I do have it. I committed it. So I'll go ahead and do, I mean, cookies, my favorite of these. I'm going to import a cookie. All right. In your dessert subclass, write an accessor method for its instance variables. And quapow, here is cookie. So in your dessert subclass, which for me, that's cookie, Write accessor methods for its instance variables. What instance variables? We have diameter. We have Chewy. And keep in mind, guys, an instance variables is a variable outside of a method, right? It's not within any of these. Oh, well, the declaration is not. So it could be defined or set within a method, but it's outside of a method. And it's going to be accessible to the... It's going to be a property of the object we create. So we're going to use that once we make the object instance variable. An accessor method traditionally relies on the git uh, naming convention. And what I mean by that, if we had over dessert, because we just did something very similar, notice git flavor and git price. All right, let's keep in mind, we will need to set the uh, data type that is getting returned. Now, when something gets returned, it gets pushed back to where that method is called. These are a lot of fancy words, but just like we're doing right here, when I call my dessert dot get price, what this is asking for, and remember we have a my dessert object, my dessert dot get price, the computer says, what in the world? Okay, my dessert, oh, it's the dessert object. What's get price? And it goes slap, and it then goes and looks and says, oh, get price. Okay, I'm going to give back to the person asking for this a double, which is a, just a decimal point number. And it returns whatever value is in the price variable right here. Right, So wherever we're asking this to run, it's giving us a piece of data back. So now we need to do this for, well, cookie. Mm, public, and then what type of variables are these? Well, I know diameter is an int, and Chewy is a Boolean. So int, int, and I'm going to do git diameter, right? And then w there's no parameters. They don't need to pass us anything. We're just giving them something. And all I do now is return diameter. Now keep in mind the name get diameter is not special, right? I could call this Fred 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 and have it return. It's just a standard usually in programming that we use get and set for things. Public int, uh, what is this? Get chewy. <laughs> it's like Star Wars. Ah, ah. Oop, oop, and I already made a mistake, right? Because chewy is a boolean. It's a true false value. So let me kill that off and say Turn chewy. Okay, and let's see what I broke. Let's head back over here and oh, we get to wait to instantiate apparently. All right, but that should be what they're asking for thus far. Cool. Onward.